that will then give you the ability to pass that knowledge on and give that example to those people who are coming into your organization. Also come to understand that in the demands of leadership is that you have to spend time with those people. You can't, if you think that you're going to sponsor someone in the business uh, and somehow they're going to metamorphose themselves into a, a, a quality person, uh, you are wrong. This is one of the failings that salespeople have is that they're very good, boom, 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 slamming people into the business. And oftentimes they get off to a great start, but what uh, uh, finally undercuts their success is that none of those people uh, are able to duplicate it. Uh, they say that great athletes are not very good coaches, and the reason is, is what a great athlete does by nature, inherently, uh, because of his physical attributes, he cannot convey that to the other person. And so that oftentimes a salesperson, thinking that everyone is a salesperson, sponsor, 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 he doesn't understand that uh, that doesn't mean that everyone has the ability to do that, that the duplication process isn't going to occur. You have to understand, and this is where the business uh, ceases to be academic in terms of me telling you what to do. This is where it becomes art, and that you have to feel what is taking place in this relationship. Because those of you who are uh, you know, in the business for any given period of time, you know that you have invested yourself into an individual uh, that failed anyway. And understanding who you spend your time with and how much time they need is the art of the business. Because if you give them too much time, you will weaken them, their own uh, business. If you don't give them enough time, then they will die on the vine before they even have a chance uh, to pursue the business. The art of the business is understanding that environment and that you have to be experienced enough to, uh, to understand what takes place. But the common foundation that we all exist on is that that you combine with people and you make them a better distributor through that combination. So, let's say, I'm, uh, if I'm new in the business and I combine with Tracy or Monty, is that uh, because of their experience in the business, because of their incomes that they created for themselves, uh, that they are tremendously effective to show people uh, the power of the opportunity to change people's lives. They know the answers to the questions. And so as a new distributor, when I combine with them, they make me a better distributor than uh, I would be because they are able to supply answers to questions that I can't. Uh, you know, we're all faced with this question that we truly, truly hate. It's the question we all come to love uh, when we're new in the business. So we get started in the business, you present it to someone, and then they ask you this question. <laughs> How much money are you making? <laughs> Oh, you feel like pulling out a revolver? Boom! Uh, you know, how rude of you to ask me uh, that. And the reason why it's so upsetting is that, that as a new person in the business, we can't give them a good answer uh, for that. Is that. And it's human nature. They just want a shortcut to know whether the business is viable. And that shortcut is your income. How much money are you making? If the answer is high enough, then they will say, oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. If the answer is too low, then they say, well, you know, come back to me when you start to make money. And so it's very difficult uh, getting started because of that, uh, that question. In many ways, it's like when you first were 18, you went out into the job market. You remember, the, you went into the job market, you're 18 years old, you apply for your first job, you go in for the interview, and they say, how much experience do you have? You say, well, I don't have any experience. And, uh, and the human resource guy says to you, well, you know, come back when you have a little uh, experience. And you sit there and you say to yourself, let me get this right. I can't get a job unless I have experience. I can't get experience unless I get a job. I'll never work. I'll never work. And that is what takes place in the beginning of this business, is you feel like you'll never work. Because people ask that question of you, how much money are you making? You don't have a good answer to that. The way you circumvent that is that you connect to your upline. So when that question is asked of you, uh, you can use the experience of your upline in the answering of that question. And that when you see that, you begin to realize that this environment is really mathematical in its nature. Is that we can plot out 
how the business grows in a mathematical formulation. And so that when two new people that are brand new in the business, I come into the business, I sponsor uh, Tracy, I'm very excited uh, about the business through my sheer excitement and that uh, we're close friends, is that she comes into the business, is that we form a mathematical equation. And that because we uh, form a mathematical equation, we can represent it through numbers, and it's, it's all multiplication. Is that an upline is able to multiply uh, the power and the success of a downline. But because we're too, uh, we're new, uh, as multipliers, we're, we're too low. And so uh, we're new in the business, I'm a multiplier of one. And I bring her in the business, and she's a multiplier of one. And so that we form an equation of one times one. One times one equals one. one. Nothing is created. Now, for some of you sat there and said, is that two? No. One times one <laughs> is one. Uh, nothing is created. And that's the frustration when you get, to, you get started. Two new people working together because no one can answer the questions, no one has the information, is that they create an equation where nothing uh, is grown. And the way you circumvent that, of course, is you attach yourself to an upline that has been in the business over a longer period of time. So Tracy sponsors me. Tracy's been in the business just a little bit longer than I have. And let's say she's a three. She starts to move a little bit of products. And so when I place someone in front of her and they say, how much money are you making? Tracy can say, you know what, I just got started a couple months ago, but you know what, I moved to $1,200 over the course of that period of time. That's a better answer than saying, well, I haven't done anything at all. And so that means that she has effectively made me more effective. And so the equation has now been changed. Instead of the equation of being 3 times 1, it's now 3 times 2. And through the change of the equation, we also alter the outcome. And that outcome, now 3 times 2, is going to be 6. And that's how the business works, is that each individual constantly improves themselves through income creation and through the ability to answer questions until you create a downline that extends six levels of quality people working the business <coughs> who can answer the questions and who have incomes uh, that uh, will be motivational. And that, that, when you look in terms of the incomes of the highest earners in New Skin, that's what takes place. So that, let's say the highest you can be is a 10, that you create an, uh, an equation that looks like this. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And so that you have six people who uh, are working together to create that environment where the outcome is significantly different than if it's one times one times one, where nothing is created.